Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick step-to-step -step tutorial on how to set up, play, and put away the quad toms. First, we're going to start getting the quad toms. You'll, you will only need three things. You'll need the stand in the very back, you'll need the drum itself, and your hands. You'll also need a music stand for practicing purposes, like the one I have here. And so, to just start by setting it up, you want to lay it down where it opens. On, Unbuckle the top of the case, which does look like a coffin. Just set it aside. For setting up the stand, it's a lot, it's really simple. You, it should look like this. If quatons are also known as tenors or quints, uh, I'm just going to notify them as tenors. But anyway, we're going to be setting this up. So just to set up, I, I would like if you could set up the stand first. Just screw that tight. So it can balance. Oop, wrong way. Okay, and then these back legs, they should just open, and you want to extend it down so where the, all three legs are balanced. I have mine set up, they're all perfectly even ish. You just want them uh, balanced enough so that they're balanced. And then you want to take this out. This is where the strength comes in. You just want to take it in. Out of the coffin crate, you want to set it up, just lock it in place. Just want to like smooth it out and make sure it's all set up. Make sure that none of the drums are covered. And now we'll get right into the tutorial. So you got your. This is a quint set, quad set. We have this middle drum. This is the Spock. Sounds like that. You got your low tom, which sounds like that. You got your mid tom. You got a higher tom, which is good for playing Star Spangled Banner. Just roll, same thing with the Spock, and then you get your high, your high tom. And your basic hold for your for the music for quads or quints, it'll be set up in the drum clef, and then you just take that and read. Low is out in the bottom. It's on the next space, next space, next space. Here's an image for each one, and then the little spot. This one's different for quints. For quints, this is below the leisure lines. This is on the first line. This is on the second line, third line, top bar, and this one is just anything higher than that, so you just go. I'm not actually reading music. Once you get your tom set up, you can start practicing. Um, for If you're a marching player and you have to march, you would wear your harness over your chest, and there's holes on the bottom that you would latch them into, and then just set it down. It'll balance itself. Uh, these for pricing if you want to get your own these come at normally 1200 or more um, uh, practice pads 200 um, and okay playing each beat makes a, a kind of harmony sound so yeah and then you just want to do your little hits wrist hits something like that uh, if you have any questions you can definitely ask about other people let's get into the taking down taking them down is a lot harder than it looks you, it seems that you could just lift it up and put it in that's basically how it works but what you do <coughs> is you lift up the tenor so you can see the bottom and yes they are hollow please don't reach into them uh, and then you just twist this should just come off with enough practice you can get it first try me that took at least four and then just set it set it in the box put your sticks in there too unless you want to carry your sticks around and then take the box covering and tenors to protect them 
And then you got this buckle and take it. You should just lock in and then you can go set that away. Okay. For the stand, close up the balance port, come to the bottom. It doesn't really matter what order you do. Unscrew the pins. Let's put down the beams and it's basically put away. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share and if I helped you, good.